everyone, and uh, welcome to a video. Now, this is going to be uh, mashing together a few different things uh, I want to do in a video. One of them, I'm going to be showing off noteworthy su submissions to LEGO Ideas that you should vote for, in my opinion. I'll show off some of my submissions on the recent contest and just tell you about the ones going on. And since the day after I'm currently writing this script and filming this, as you can see, hi. Um, tomorrow I'm going to see the re results for the next review phase and I'll talk about them. So, I've got um, basically every LEGO Ideas submission that I've ever voted for up here. And I'm looking at the ones that are not, um, that that haven't reached full support. Now, the last, the oldest one, or one I voted for, oldest, I'm not sure how it, exactly it works, um, but that hasn't reached support, is the Monsters, Inc. one by Ho Holly Can Build. Um, she's Holly on Film on YouTube. It's a great channel, but ju honestly, just this project's good. Um, I think Soli and Mike turned out good, seeing as you can't use... Um, regular, um, molded stuff. I like all the details on the inside, and it just turned out really good, in my opinion. Next is the shipping container retreat. Now, I've always loved the idea of, um, when you're doing these buildings and shipping containers, and this one just, uh, looks cool. It has nice colors. Uh, the railway looks good. The rock work outside is fun, and... I just think it'd be a nice, interesting, and different pick for LEGO Ideas that'd be at most $80. Um, next is the Pac-Man moving display, which is basically, um, I think it's a crank-powered thing where it'll have Pac-Man opening his mouth and ghosts bobbing up and down, which I think is cool. And then you have a little pattern on the side, and, you know, it, it, it'd just be fun. It reminds me of that Chinese Dragon set. I'll put a photo up on the screen. Um... We have Phineas and Ferb, Perry the Platypus, um, and it's cute. It's Perry as, um, just the pet Perry, and then Agent P, and then him on a jetpack, and it just, it's cool, it's cute, it, it's small, and I mean, who doesn't want Phineas and Ferb? It's a great show. Now, by Generic Stud, another YouTuber, Ed and the Scrapyard. It is almost fully supported, and... I don't, I'm not sure if they'll make it since they have Ninjago, but I'm hoping they do because it looks good. And, yeah, who, do, who doesn't want it? And it and does Junkyard. Um, the Wizard Tower, it's a cool-looking old castle thing. It's ruined. It's a bit ruined. And it just has good color schemes. I like how the roof kind of looks like a wizard hat. And, yeah, it's good, and it has a nice curvature with... Um, uh, one by two plates all around the side, and I'd love to see how did, they did that. The Prancing Pony, I have not seen Lord of the Rings movies. I'm currently on the Two Towers part of the books, but I just like a Prancing Pony. I mean, you'd get, um, you'd get all the Hobbits, so, like, you'd get Frodo, Sam, Pippin, and Merry, and then an Aragorn or something. That'd be fine. Or Strider, I don't know what most people refer to him as. Medieval Tournament, it's beautiful. I love the original, well, not original, but both versions of the set that have come out. Uh, and I just love a tournament-type set. Working Log Flume, that'd be fun just to have one that works. Now, with the Roller Coaster, not entirely sure, but I do think it'd be different enough. And it's super detailed. It's a log flume. That, that'd just be cool. UFO Alien Impact. This is one of the most creative things that I've seen recently. Not the most. There's one coming up, which just blows me away. But, you know, this is good. You get a nice little house, which, like, you'd find in the middle of nowhere. It, just on the side of the road. You've got a bit of the electrical wiring things. And then a UFO crashed into it, and I just think that's a cool concept. The city community pool, uh, we haven't had a Lego pool that's not friends, so there's a chance, a good chance of this happening, it's got a slide, and it just looks like it'd be a fun, lively set. Italian Rivera, vote for this, because they're not gonna make it, but then when it 
this set gets put into the Bricklink Designer program, I'll be able to buy it. So you'll still be able to buy it. And I know that sounds kind of jokey, but it's all the projects like this seem to get into the ideas thing, like every the Bricklink thing every round. So I'm halfway joking, but also not. And then we got the Vintage Service Station, which I just think is a cool concept. Um, you get an octan uh, thing, and it just, it's detailed, it fits with the octan thing, and it's not, it wouldn't compete with the old one, because no one likes the old one, or even the modern one, because it's just something completely different like that McDonald project, which hopefully will be voted in uh, tomorrow. Um, now we've got the wonderful Lego Wizard of Oz emoji, 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 and some other stuff. Uh, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I'd love a Wizard of Oz set, so that's why I voted for this. Now, one of the coolest um, ideas on Lego ideas that I've ever seen is the Running Knight. Um, it's so cool. You c and I imagine if Lego did this, they might be a way to change out the figures, but you have this crank, which makes it look like a minifigure is running, because you have all these gears and cogs, like, there's no torso, it uses the, um, action posing pieces, um, for the arms, and then it got the skeleton arms, so you can move those legs, it uses the studs on the back to move them back and forth, and you've got a little bird flapping and the floor running in a circle, and I just think it is one of the most creative and cool things ever. And I really hope that this gets voted in because I'd love to buy this so much. So please, please, please support this one more than any of the others. Um, now we've got uh, the Upside Down Cafe, which I just think is a cool idea. Not necessarily as a cafe, but just like one of those Upside Down House tourist trap things. Um, I rem think of the one in Gravity Falls. Uh, I'm still mad we didn't get back with Gravity Falls, but it's fun. It's fine. Um, I just think the concept is cool here. Now, we've got the Hobbit Bag End. And this is a nice little small one. I've got two loaded. And I'm going to show them to you. But, yeah, so there's this one. And I like it because it's small. It It's kind of, it's the 18 plus. You've got the little ring detail. And I think this is all you need. I, you don't need the whole uh, gathering. But it'd be nice if you did. And then you've got this bigger one, which, to me, it looks a bit more messy. I, I like the first one a bit more. It's just something about it. Um, but the second one, it has a whole interior and stuff like that. Um, but, okay, so now we're on to The Great Devourer. Now, I was planning on making a mock of this at some point, and I still am. But there's one main reason I want to show it. I mean, it's got some great details. But it has Garmadon and the Baby Great Devourer, and just that. I need that, so I wanted to feature it. And last but not least is the Old Red Schoolhouse. I mean, it's like, things like these are iconic, and I mean, it'd just be great. So now, next, what the moment you've been waiting for, the moment, is my projects you know you don't care about these you want to see what i've been building you saw my moon knight episode six month no this is better so i'm gonna put photos of them on screen and kind of talk about them uh okay so first we've got for one of the projects it's over now and by the time the video the video is coming out the next one will be over but i'm still showing it so the first one the, this is the corner deli um, and it was for build your favorite set in mini scale. My favorite set is the corner deli. Now, I just loved, um, it was the set that got me into Lego. I went to my friend's house in like the first or second grade and we were playing with Lego, but the one that caught my attention most and I just love playing with most is the corner deli. I just love the charm. It has the little bird on front. I found so funny and it just like, the inside playing with it, it, it was fun, and it's my favorite set, and if I can get it for not $90, um, I'm going to do that, so I'll, I probably put all the photos on screen now, and I just think it's a cool set. Now, next, the one I have just finished and submitted, we have, uh, this is for a castle contest this time, 
it's build your favorite castle set in micro scale and now i don't have experience with castle outside of next nights which just has a set i wanted once for my birthday and didn't get uh thank you grandma for that um but no it's a what i did is um uh, i just thought it was the coolest set so i built it i do realize now i forgot the cage i know how i could have done that i'm, I'm very disappointed in myself that it didn't uh, but I think it looks cool. I don't have interior for this because the set didn't. And I think the face, it worked out good. I like doing these a bit more scaled up because just I want it to look detailed. And I think it worked out well. Like you have those um, rock pieces with uh, lava on the top and then the gray on the bottom. And I think I did that well. The dragon looks a bit funny. <laughs> but it also looks accurate because it looked funny in the set. So by the time this video is out, those two contests will be done. But the contest that won't be done, and I will be submitting in, uh, Gabe the Builder, if you're going to submit, you might want to see it, um, the 90th Anniversary Space Celebration. So what this is, and you have until July 21st to do this, so I've got 10 days, is that what happens is... You get, you build a set based on, um, another set. So, let me read it out to you. Earth to Space Fan Over, you receiving, in our third contest to celebrate the 90th anniversary celebrations, I believe there's gonna be six, uh, so, stay tuned. I, I may not make videos, but just check the website there. They go on about every week, so, this one was like, it's, it's like th every Thursday, Friday, just check then. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're looking you to be inspired by everything related to space, but this time around, you've got to be real creative and build your own models inspired by past original space themes, colors, and sets. You could, for instance, build a space space or vehicle based on the colors of Blacktron. Your creations can be big or small, but they have to be original and may not be related to intellectual properties or real space. That's, uh, stuff like that. And should be it should not be a differently version scaled of past that it shouldn't be galaxy cruiser but it's really really small um so yeah i am i'm not telling you what i'm planning you need to check it out and uh i'll maybe get a youtube short about it i don't i don't do shorts but you know for you for watching you're welcome and there's already some cool ones on here but yeah, those are the ones, and, uh, this video would be over, but, uh, it's not tomorrow, so, bye, until tomorrow. Hello there, everyone, it is the morning, I'm about to check Lego Ideas, uh, who won, but first, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts, now, the ones I'm hoping for most are Avatar and the McDonald's, but, I don't think they're gonna win because we haven't had Avatar win any of the past times, and McDonald's, that just seems like a weird license to get. Like, I can't see an 18 plus McDonald's set. Besides that, even though I looked at it just the, yesterday, I, I don't know what's, what I think would win, and I didn't see a lot of likely things, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna check, so let's put it back right here, and... I, my, my audio cut out, so that's fun, and also, oh, the video also, uh, so I went on to say, uh, just to tell you, um, as we were showing the video, they were showing some of the projects, I did say that I was hoping for the brick separator, the Rubik's Cube, and Baba Yaga, and the bookends, uh, photos on screen right now, uh, but what I did not guess, and I did not really think was likely at all was hocus pocus now yes home loan that did very well but is it having much sales right now this day or in the middle of july i don't i don't think so hook scooby-doo monster fighters hit inside after the f first year they were sold and after that october they sold sold horribly this is like that so I, I just don't see it as likely. It's not as popular as Scooby-Doo. And, I mean, it's $200. That's the that's as much as, like, the biggest monster fighter set, the Haunted House. And it's as 
much. It'll be as much as the haunted house. So it's going to have some competition there. I'm going to talk about it more in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and yeah, until next time, have a good day. And uh, they didn't give us Avatar, so um, I say we need to yell at them and call them big dum-dums on Twitter. Everyone go.